Hey, I'm gonna wash day. All my relatives. Today I'm gonna make a snack and a dessert. So for the snack, I'm going to use bananas, my favorite ingredient. Some chocolates. I'm gonna make them two different ways. One using Nutella and one using peanut butter. Got some peanuts. And some um yeah, some caramel syrup. So let's do it. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and do four of the bananas. Depends on how many people you know you really have or how many you're making them for. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut the ends and give them to the give them to my furry friend here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and you can either make these long way, however you feel like making them. I'm gonna go ahead and make them about a good spice about that. So yeah, very simple, easy, small. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them all in a Ziploc bag and what we're gonna do after we get them cutting everything I'm gonna freeze them for about a good hour two hours so as those are freezing went ahead and put a cup of chocolate chips and a tablespoon of coconut oil whatever butter whatever kind of try to figure that out but I'm gonna go ahead and smash up at least some of these pins I have a rolling pin and I should and I don't Let's go ahead and smash this up. I'm gonna leave them all crunched up. You know, some of them you want whole. Depending on how you feel about crunchy stuff or whatever. I'm gonna leave some whole and I'm smashing some up so it's easier to put on. Oh! Alright, these all smash up. Depends on how many peanuts you want to use. And then this will go in there for about like 30 seconds in the microwave. Or even you can do it on a stove top with, you know, a hard bowl, um, heating bowl. Mix it up and whatnot. And then after those get done freezing, then we're going to go ahead and put some half peanut butter and half Nutella and, of course, caramel. And then as we're sitting there waiting for those to freeze... I'm gonna show you how to make this dessert. So, go ahead and get you however many peaches you want. I got four here. So go ahead and go wash those off really quick. I'm sitting here trying to get the. I made these into like a little bowl type of thing here going on. In order from the place, I had to cut the end here so the place I can put a little bit of the stand here, just like that. And then all you're gonna do, grab whatever choice of butter that you have, put a little bit on the base of it, mix some. About mix about a fourth of brown sugar and a fourth of oats and then I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle it on top then add another little butter on top of the oatmeal and brown sugar and then you're gonna have your oven preheated to about 350 yeah all right see put a dollop of butter on all of them this will go in the oven 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes or until you see it crispy and golden brown so it doesn't matter if that falls off what do we use it as topping so yes how it turned out oh my gosh you can top this with yogurt you can put it in your oatmeal in the morning time save it for your oatmeal this i'm gonna eat as a dessert and i'm gonna put some whipped cream on there you can put ice cream however you want to eat this job these are peach little cobbler little holder things. Simple ingredients, just peaches, butter, brown sugar, and oatmeal. Pros. And I am going to make like, I guess, little sandwiches out of them. And I'm going to incorporate, I guess, just like that there. And then, of course, 
got the chocolate all mixed up here. I'm just going to go ahead and dip it in there just like so. And then, of course, we're going to do the same to all of them. So let's see how they turn out. All right, so these are going to go in the freezer for about an hour. And then it's snack time. Enjoy.